last year in, in SEC championship and, and also the, the prep you've done this week. Um, how would you describe the offense they run and how would you, you know, their characteristics there? Uh, yeah, they got a pretty good offense and uh, we got to prepare well for them this week, just as we did last year. Jacob. Hey, Bill, coach mentioned the phrase uh, several times, sustaining consistency and performance. Uh, how do you interpret that phrase? And as a leader, how do you kind of put that into motion with your teammates in conversation? Just keep building on it every week. Uh, keep preaching it to the guys. And I think we just got to all, all come together as a team and keep keep pushing uh, and finish in the fourth quarter. Don. Uh, yeah, Phil, last time you faced these guys, obviously you won, but the defense still gave up 46. Uh, do you guys think y'all are better since then? Does that still, just as a defense, does that does that kind of game motivate you? Because the defense doesn't want to be in shootouts like that. You know, I think we just as good as we can be um, when we when we playing all together and we doing the right things, uh, counseling out of all the minute errors and, you know, just playing together as a as a defense, we can be good. But once we get sidetracked track, and, you know, worry about the wrong things, everybody not focused, you know, we can have a little struggle. So I think just going into this game, everybody got to be on the same page and playing together. Michael. Yeah, what what looks different against, against Florida's offense this year as opposed to last year? What, what about them looks different? We we really haven't watched much film. You know, it's Monday. Uh, we had we got the twenty four hour rule. So uh, today we start on those guys. So it, it's, it's nothing really I can't give you just yet. Steven. Being a veteran, Phil, when you watch a guy like Kumate McKinstry get his first pick as a young guy, what does that do for you as a veteran? I mean, how does that help his confidence as you know he sees I can make plays out here? Uh, that's a big, that's a big, that's a big question. Oh, I think Kool Aid's man. He he brings a lot of energy. I love his swagger, and for him to step up when he got his chance to, uh, I think he he took on that role and and did did good with it. And I'm excited for him. Mike. And Nick Saban kind of took issue with the way you guys were practicing last week. Just how much of a difference did you notice from the first week to last week, and how can that change uh, this week going forward? Uh, it just starts with the leadership. Uh, we got to do better in the leadership room. Just stand on the guys more, and you got to be more disciplined uh, and keeping the guys hype. You know, bringing a lot of energy to practice because that's where it started. Steve. Uh, Phil, uh, if you could uh, comment on uh, Florida's offensive line, what impresses you about the Gator O line, Phil? You know, just from watching their game. Uh, a couple of days ago, I think they really play together as a as a whole, and they move a lot. Aaron, do you still have a question? Okay, Jacob. Yeah, Phil, just talk about uh, Drew Sanders, how he performed in his first start, and also uh, Chris Braswell, what he brings to the table when he's on the field in lieu of uh, Will Anderson. I think those guys did pretty well. Um, we're going to need them all year long, you know, with Chris being down. And uh, we just got to encourage those guys to step up, you know, when their name is called. Michael. <clears throat> I asked Chris Owens about this the other night. Uh, and since you've been around, too, uh, Chris was rattling off a bunch of Nick Saban sayings, kind of word for word. You've been around. Is there a favorite uh, little coaching saying quip he has that, that stands out to you? Uh, I can't think of one. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your actions speak so loud, I can't hear what you say. Yeah, that's a good one right there. Final questions for Fidarian. Thank you, Phil.